Welcome to Land of House, I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's an off-grid water pump that needs no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. The concept is water flows through a pipe into this waste valve, slams it closed. That creates a pressure wave, which goes into this inline valve, builds up pressure in the pressure tank, and then sends water uphill out the delivery over here. So it is 30 degrees today. Last night was 17, and it's supposed to get back down to 17 again tonight. I'm gonna turn on my ram pump and let it uh, operate all night long, and hopefully for the rest of the week. And we will see how well it form, uh, performs here in the cold weather. So let me show you my pump over here, and we'll have to go up to the uh, initial intake, clean things up a bit, and get water flowing to the pump. So buried up under all those leaves is my ram pump that I use for most of my testing here on the property. Let me check to see. <laughs> oh, nope, it's not frozen, but it does have some ice in there. So hopefully that will melt out when warmer water hits it. So there's the waste valve right there. The inline valve is tucked up under the leaves and the delivery pipe skirts up the hill and you can't see it through the snow. Uh, so the drive pipe goes up along here and drops about seven feet from the sediment bucket up here. Let me take you up here so you can see what that looks like. Can't tell if this drive pipe is frozen. That might stop our test today. So this bucket acts as a sediment uh, trap here. I can see water flowing out of the overflow, which is good. There we go. Let's just go down here to the pump and see if this is enough water coming in to keep it going. It might be. I definitely don't want to have my hands in this water for very long. Let me see. All right, the valve is open, but I'm not really seeing any flow. So things may be frozen up here. That's not good. I'm back out here the next day. It's a lot warmer. And this should uh, be able to start now. Looks like the valve has closed on its own. So I need to hold this down to make sure there's no air bubbles in here. Hopefully we're good. So this will cycle on its own. And uh, the pressure wave, when this closes, is pushed into here, which builds pressure in the tank and then sends water up the pipe right here uphill to way past the uh, the house up there so uh, we'll step up there and see the water coming out and we will just let this system run yeah. gotta make sure that so what happens is water will come back down the pipe and um, basically needs to be reprimed so water is being pushed back up this pipe until there's enough back pressure down on the pump to keep it going um, anyway I'm gonna make sure this is going. We'll go up to the top and see the water flowing out up there. And we will hopefully see this thing run for several days here in the cold. About midnight, I stepped out of the house and the pump was still clicking away. And it was about, I don't know, 28, 25 degrees at that point. And now it's uh, 18 degrees out here and the pump has stopped. So let's see if we can figure anything out. Looks like it's frozen with the valve open. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> so uh, the drive pipe itself seems to be fine, but uh, if it's not been pushing water, something else has most likely busted. You know what I'm seeing? There is no water in this tank, which means the uh, inline valve has probably broken and that has pushed water back this way. And so if we can't get the valve to cycle on its own, that is likely what's happened. So let's push this a few times. I'm seeing no water in here whatsoever. Yeah, that's not gonna cycle. Uh, so my guess is this is frozen here. And to be honest, probably everything in this uh, 
delivery pipe. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, so let's go up top and see if the uh, delivery that was going up there during the night has caused any icicles. Uh, my first assumption here is that that inline valve has busted um, whenever the uh, water froze up in there. But anyway, let's walk up the uh, delivery pipe and see if there's any icicles up here. I intended on pulling the delivery pipe up into a tree so we can watch the ice form, but uh, it did not. I did not do that, so it's too cold. So the ram pump starts right here. The pipe goes under this little bridge under the road through a culvert right here. And it's semi buried under this little trench here and then is exposed here. Let's see. It's empty, so I'm not filling any water in that. So what may have happened is it was still frozen from yesterday and I never did uh, go up here to see if there was output. So we may have just never even pumped anything up the hill. May have to do this test again whenever uh, it thaws out. I'm building a new water tower and so I have all of this kind of in a mess right now, but I don't see any output that happened here. So we'll have to redo this test. So I'll be back in a couple days. My first attempt at running the hydraulic ram pump in the winter has failed. And let me show you the reasons that it has failed. Number one, the inline check valve, which is this valve right here. It froze up and busted the spring mechanism inside. And so every time this would cycle, it would uh, push water into the tank and then back out. And so it would equalize and nothing was ever being pushed uphill. So that was my first thing. I replaced that valve and then it worked for a short time until yeah, my source uh, was just too clogged up at the top and not letting enough water through. So I kind of just let things just be, I didn't mess with it. My bucket froze up and so did the drive pipe. That also the delivery pipe froze up going uphill. So the whole system was locked down for several days. And then uh, about uh, maybe three days after I had tried to start this, I was out in the front porch of my house and all of a sudden, click, click, click. Things had thawed out enough that the pump started to work again, but the source was still clogged up and not letting enough water through. So uh, that was one of my main issues is I did not clean that out enough uh, because it was so cold. I didn't want to have my hands down in that water. So um, after that, I went to start it again and my neighbor uh, was pulling out some logs and he um, pulled out the delivery pipe going uphill and uh, it popped loose in the connection underneath my road culvert. And so I was uh, basically done at that point. So I need to wait for all this snow to be gone before I can reconnect the pipe and hopefully have everything thawed out down here. And I'll go clean out the source water and that way everything will be ready to go for the next test. So uh, basically start the pump before it's too cold to start the pump is what I'm getting at. But let's go ahead and look at things all the way up and we'll kind of get an idea of what um, happened along the way. This is one giant block of ice right here with all kinds of icicles dripping down underneath. Let me see if I can zoom in close enough for you to see all of those. Right down there is the intake system for my ram pump. And you can see all the rocks and silt that have gathered up around that pipe. So I need to clean all that out and get uh, more water flow to the pump for the next round of testing. Yeah, the, all that's really icy. I have a feeling that we could crack through it here. Let's see. Nope, that's a solid piece of ice right there. Yeah, but down there is really solid. Yeah, very solid. Oh yeah. So it's got snow underneath and uh, ice on top. Thank you. Oh, yeah. 
Yep, you can. I have a few customers in Canada and they have done some unique things to keep their pumps running even during the cold times. Number one, they have their drive pipe submerged or insulated and that keeps the, uh, the wind off of the drive pipe. The pump itself, they typically put inside of a Rubbermaid tote with some insulation that's uh, water resistant or waterproof. And then the delivery pipe is typically buried from the pump all the way up to the tanks. And then their tanks are often underground to keep them from freezing as well. Uh, so um, hopefully this year, whenever we have the cold weather, I can do the same kind of thing. I may not be insulating my drive pipe just because of where it is, um, but I think if I at least just cover the pump for a bit and uh, get enough water moving, maybe we can see something happen up here with the delivery. But um, for right now, things are frozen pretty good and uh, we're supposed to get more snow here in the next couple of days. So anyway, this was test one of the winter weather ram pump. What I need to do is actually take the time to install a pump with insulation and uh, hopefully get it to run before we have the cold weather. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Definitely leave me some comments down below on improvements for the cold weather ram pump. And hopefully we will lock down something that works for at least a couple of weeks. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I'll see you in the next video. If you need a ram pump, I have them for sale on landahouse.com and on Amazon. Links in the description down below. Thanks for watching.